Shafati Rasul Kareem bi madadikum. InshaAllah Allah Azza wa Jal just us with the holy lights of Rajab and the immense lights of SubhanAllah man huwa khaliqul nur that we go to the app and click on the month and the teachings of the month and the importance of the seventh lunar month and the reality in which Allah is describing to Prophet that Rajab is my month and that I reward the servant without anyone having to even know, without any cause and effect that Allah will bestow upon His servants the rewards that Allah wants. As a result they are all inspired to do more worshipness, more practices, the month in which many are in seclusion and go into seclusions and from the teachings of awliyaullah that subhana man huwa khalaq nur in which the seventh month which Allah is eternally dressing the soul of Sayyidina Muhammad and directing us to the heart of the essence, the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad and then the heart of the Adamic heart of creation, that a point in which creation wanted to be known, Allah wanted to be known and bringing into existence creation. That when Allah is describing SubhanAllah man huwa khalaq nur Glory be to the one whom created light. That creation of light is a means in which Allah will be known with all its beatific realities. Something hidden now is about to reveal what it wants to reveal. So the immensity of Rajab and the blessings of Rajab in which Allah is describing that I give a gift with no one knowing. Uh, no one has to know, not an angel, not a prophet, not a saint. It's not going to come only by means that Allah will send whatever tajalli Allah wants to send upon His creatures and His creation. As a result they're inspired to do good deeds, extra, extraordinary deeds, uh, they, they do their mandatory then they do the obligations that are not mandatory. Whatever they can do for the benefit of Allah for the benefit of getting Allah's Divinely attention and grace. With that immensity of light that Allah is going to bring into existence this light, it's also the immense month of the birth of light within our reality and the birth of faith. That Allah to rejuvenate our faith in every Rajab and to bless our our light within our heart to blossom, to become stronger, to become more and more of the Muhammadan haqqaiqs. So they describe that Rajab like the seed, the seed of ishq and love that Allah plants in Rajab. And that's why when Allah guides, He says, there's no guidance except through when Allah guides. And when Allah really wants to guide the servant, through the true realities of guidance, He inspires them to go to Waliun Murshidun, those guides and murshids whom are taking and being dressed from wilayat and sainthood, that they reach the level of taskiyah and cleaning, that they are guides from Allah's Divinely Presence from the heart and manifestation of the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad and they exist upon this earth to bring people back into that reality. So when Allah wants to guide the servant, He guides to those teachers that teach you that these are three holy months that, that by sitting and observing Rajab to do your ibadah and worshipness, extraordinary care towards goodness and cleanliness and things that make Allah to be happy, there's an immense reward. That if Allah begin to plant that, that seed of light and that reality of light and rejuvenate that light if He planted it last year and He rejuvenates it this year and every year, the immensity of what Allah going to open, then imagine all the blessings of the holy month of Rajab. That Allah gives us so many opportunities within the holy month of Rajab that the first Thursday of Rajab because they're 
saying that Rajab will be coming in tonight, tomorrow. So first Thursday will be next Thursday. Laylatul Raqai, the night in which the, the holy light of Sayyidina Muhammad passed from his father Sayyidina Abdullah to Sayyidatina Amin salam. And that because of that immensity of light of what Allah imagine that all creation created by the understanding that Allah wanted to be known. And the apex of that knowing means like the way of Arifin, the apex of wanting to be known is I'm going to now send the crown of my creation. Why I created this creation? All this creation is in existence but you still don't have any understanding why I made this creation until I send the crown of that reality onto this earth. And the, the immensity of the reality of the birth and the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad that Allah's manifestations, beatific oceans. If everything was beautiful before, by the arrival of Sayyidina Muhammad it is in an ocean of perfection, immense perfection. If you thought that was beautiful then wait till the arrival of Prophet upon this earth, how he fragrance and beautifies and takes everything way above anything that mankind could have understood of the character, the khuluq and the dress that Allah dressing the reality of Prophet That's what then the understanding of raqayb is a night in which Allah is a night of forgiveness, a night of immense joy and that whatever you want Allah is saying, ask, what are the servants asking from me? Because of hard to put, you can't put into words. When Allah is, is, is making all this creation out of love and the apex of this love, وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَكَ رَحْمَةً لِلْعَالَمِينَ I would not have sent Him and this reality except that it's the mercy of your existence. By Allah giving all of these isharats that the immensity of this reality is coming onto your earth as a result ask what you want. You don't know how much I, I gave as a favour to your creation, ask what you want. So Shabr Raqayab and the night of Raqayab is immense, Ya Rabbi that grant the healing for those who are sick, take away their difficulty. Grant a, a, a rizq for those who are coming short. Grant the, the jobs for those who can find jobs. Grant every type of benefit from every type of difficulty. Take away sicknesses and pains and difficulties from those whom are suffering, Ya Rabbi, for the sake of Raqaib, for the sake of Sayyidina Muhammad That's how we should be asking. That on this night all the way till Thursday night asking Ya Rabbi and all my amal, all my deeds, take away difficulties from what's coming. Take away the, the shortness of people's rizq and sustenance. Whatever we have of, of difficulties, ask Ya Rabbi for the sake of the arrival of Sayyidina Muhammad in these beautific realities. Join us in those blessings Ya Rabbi and by means of that arrival take every difficulty away from me Ya Rabbi Allah. Take every difficulty away from my family, from my community and all my loved ones. This is the immensity of these lights that are coming. When we pass that immense blessing then Allah gave us the immensity of Ursa Mubarak of Sultanul Awliya Imam Shaykh Muhammad Nazim Haqqani that just to remember, look at his holy face and say that I'm trying to be a student of your way. Ya Sultanul Awliya that keep your nazar upon me, mention me in a much more beatific association that I'm going to bring some food for your name, I'm going to bring some water to people, I'm going to spread a good word and try to do da'wah, try to do good works. Just please mention me in the presence of Allah in the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad Then when we be dressed by the immensity of that blessing Allah opens for us the immensity of the birth of Imam Ali on the 13th of Rajab. Means you can see how much Allah is, is dressing and blessing all these, these barakas and blessings in the next three months that are coming for us 
that this seed of immense light, immense guidance, not a seed of any other seed, not a light from any other light but the light of faith that is an eternal light. There's nothing that you can pay or pray or do that Allah give you an eternity. That you reach to a light of eternity, Ya Rabbi take us away from our temporary candle, our imitated light and make us to be from the real light and the light of truth Ya Rabbi. That which is eternal and that never extinguishes. The flame of reality that once it burns it never goes off to make us from those lights. And then by the love and observance of the love of Sayyidina Imam Ali salam and to be dressed from that birth, to be lit from that reality and that He be a guardian over our being and that Imam Ali to guard us, to watch over us, to protect us, the one whom is born inside the house of Allah who represents the symbol of that reality. That imagine that the heart of the believer is the house of Allah Imam Ali born inside the house of Allah that what Allah gave to the believers when He says, I'm going to, if nobody's guided unless I guide you means that when Allah want to guide the servant, what type of companionship He gives to that servant? I make your Nabi to be Sayyidina Muhammad my most beloved, that's immense guidance. I make your guardian to be Imam Ali Salam to come and defend you and fight for you and take away every type of difficulty from you. I make the holy companions to dress you, bless you and to give you the perfection of character and the love that they have and had and served in the way of Allah for Sayyidina Muhammad All of this immensity Allah dressing the heart of, of the servant. Means with all the blessings, and then Prophet opening the realities of Israhi wal Miraj. That no, not a single creation reached its reality and its true ahad, its true, true covenant with Allah until the Imam of all creation has to be present. Means whatever every Prophet reached, it was less the reality of its complete reality. They were in need for the one whom holds all keys for Allah to be present and only behind Sayyidina Muhammad can they go into their covenant and reach to what Allah has promised them to reach. That's why the reality of on Israhi wal Miraj the Sayyidina Muhammad because we took you now through the ranks of people. Now for the ranks of Prophets, Allah go for Isra. Why not just go straight to Allah Because the Prophets are now in need of you. No, now you understood what creation was going to get. The Prophets are in need of you, their need to witness you to pray behind you, to give their shahada to you and make them Muhammadiyoon. And that's what it's meant by Prophet I went to Al-Aqsa in Jerusalem and I prayed with the Prophets. They prayed what? Muhammadiyoon prayer. Tashahud, they're giving their, their shahada to Sayyidina Muhammad, Ashhadu an la illallah wa ashhadu anna Muhammadan abduhu wa habibuhu wa rasuluhu. Means at that time they accepted their Islam, they accepted Sayyidina Muhammad and now they understood the deen of Allah has always been Islam. The only Messenger of Allah is Sayyidina Muhammad The immensity of Isra is that I want all these Prophets and all their agencies to understand you are the Rasulullah, you are the ancient Rasul. You're the ancient Rasul that in your reality of light you have always been the messenger of Allah and nobody approaches Allah. Not an angel, not a prophet, not a, anything in creation, they reach to Rasulullah And at that time all the Prophets took their shahada and the deen of Islam is then known to all the Prophets of Allah then the immensity of the miraj into the heavens to show to show all the people who who don't 
stop their understanding and religion to meditate and contemplate. When somebody comes and says, oh you know Mawlid maybe if something wasn't practiced or maybe why you guys show so much respect for Sayyidina Muhammad And the problem with people who don't tafakkur and meditate and contemplate they don't see anything that Allah is doing, they don't read anything that Allah is writing. But when we slow our life down and just the incident of Isra'i wal Miraj, how much Allah is showing and shows that you can never reach what I'm doing. For my beloved servant I sent the angels to give him notification, not a letter, not a tablet on stone, I sent the angels in person. I send them with water from paradise to wash, I send them with the juppa and clothing of paradise to be dressed, I send him the best of my limousine is a buraq to come and to take his holy presence and move him and then as I'm going to bring him the… when, when you understood sultanate and, and kingdoms, how you greet the king? is a sign of adab. When, when a king arrives you come outside to greet the king, you don't make the king come to you, you come down to the level of the king. You don't stand up high and say, how are you? You bring yourself low so that the king is giving salams. It's a, the protocol of manners and etiquette that you going into that presence, how Allah then made all of the angels of every paradise stand outside of their paradise to greet the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad Not that they, he goes to them but he brought them all out from whoever you are and whatever you think you are, you're nothing because now the king of all creation in his physical presence is arriving as my guest, come outside of your abode. And they say, oh the angels of every paradise was out to greet means they had adorned with all their lights and all their realities to greet the, the Habib of Allah The one whom Allah has bestowed His love and named him Habibullah, the one whom Allah loves. Everyone in creation is trying to love Allah and trying to get Allah to understand or to acknowledge them. Every Prophet was trying to get Allah to acknowledge their existence and, and to be happy and satisfied with them. With Prophet is, is completely a different reality that Allah is named from beginning, you are my most beloved creation. Everything I'm doing to make you to be satisfied, to make you to be happy, to make you to be understanding the immensity of my Divinely love. That's the immensity of Isra wa Miraj. Then imagine people are asking that ridiculous question when Allah is saying, Oh my creation is meant to show how much I love you. I put this earth in which you were going to step to be beatific. If Allah didn't like somebody He would have sent them to the moon where there's not a single color there, there's not a, it's just grey and that's why they're all aliens on the moon. The bad ones that want to eat you, <laughs> Allah said, your abode is the moon, is nothing. But look how when Allah wants to show manners to us. So when you're when you, when, when you inviting somebody important, how you put the best of what you have, you don't just make your house like a moon for them. You make everything to be beautiful, Allah said, look your holy feet will one day come upon this earth. I make all the beautific flowers. Look at the thousands of variations of flowers. When someone doesn't have time for ibadah and worshipness and good actions, how Allah took this time in which Allah has no time but the delicacy of a thousand or ten thousand variations of flowers, of creatures, of streams and rivers and water and fragrances, beautific fragrances that everything in creation when it's happy it, ex it exhibits or puts out a beautific fragrance to show all the love for Sayyidina Muhammad that He made all of this beautiful for you and people not understanding. And that's why these not sharif they're teaching and continuously teaching people, make it beautiful. 
go, go above what you could ever imagine and you're still not a drop in what Allah is, is showing for us of how much Allah loves Sayyidina Muhammad So this is the immensity and only just drops of understandings of the immensity of the opportunity Allah gives us in this holy month of Rajab, all these blessings. So then fast when you can fast, then do your worshipness, do the good actions that you can do. Allah is handing out lottery tickets, immense blessings, things that people can't even understand. Only people running for the earth and, the, and whatever they can take from the earth for us to understand that Allah is just saying, these are tickets to paradises and realities and lights that no eye has seen and no ears can understand, that run for every type of action and good deed and raja to be dressed by it, blessed by it. And then when we do all of those actions, then Sayyidina Muhammad comes to make it sweet, sweeten the deal even more. Say, so now Shabban, after you did all of that in Rajab, Shabban is my month in which I'm going to dress you and bless you, in which the actions you do, I will dress you and sweeten you. Because that's why awliya taught them. With all this love for Prophet then imagine now you're entering into the month of Sayyidina Muhammad What immense dressings and lights and blessings that Prophet is going to dress upon us. Then we, we get all the dress of Shabban, all the blessings of Shabban, Nisf Shabban and the spiritual new year in which every action will be made clear, everything will be written of who dies, who lives, what their sustenance will be given. All of the immensity of Laylatul Bara, Shab al Bara of Shabban and the dress of it, and then Allah's immense rahmah of the month of Ramadan. That what I have given in Rajab and what Prophet has increased upon for you in Shabban, I allowed an ability and an only way that you could receive these dresses is by Ramadan. Ramadan is the month in which Allah asks us to do nothing, just fast because only way you can achieve what we just described was not by your prayers, not by your salah, not by your zakah, not by anything. The immensity of these lights Allah wants to bestow only by salm, the siyam, that when the servant fasts Allah is the one who gives the reward. As soon as the servant enters into these 30 days of immense fasting, Allah's dressing with immense light that destroy every sin, every wrongdoing, every bad character until the servant by the Eid becomes as if newborn. That every badness and incorrectness was completely destroyed by the blessings of Ramadan and everything that was dressed of Rajab and Shaban is bestowed upon the servant's soul in Ramadan. We pray that Allah give us a, a life in which to see these holy months, these holy nights, these holy days and that Allah give us the love of Sayyidina Muhammad to be increasing and increasing more and more every day inshaAllah. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzati amma yasifoon, wa salaamun al mursaleen, wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen, bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha. Click the link now to subscribe.